honestly, I just feel like I was, um, feels like yesterday, but well, it was about seven years ago. Everything feels the same to me, and um, I think I'm just really looking forward to the weekend. But the way it's turned out for me being the 25th year anniversary of um, World Superbikes here at Phillip Island, uh, there's a lot of things that just made me think I really want to do that. And one of the biggest things was basically just for the people, uh, for Phillip Island, for World Superbikes. I know every piece of this track, like the back of my hand, I've had um, some great memories from here and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting back out on the track and, and riding around with these guys. Um, that I, you know, There's a lot of guys here that I used to ride with, so for me, I haven't been able to stop smiling for the last um, couple of days and uh, it's a strange situation. Come race day, that's when I always pull the pin, but um, <laughs> who knows, like I said, step by step, but it is going to be very interesting. I'm pretty competitive. I've still been doing dirt track and super motard, and I'm the current Australian flat track champion, dirt track champion, and super motard. So, you know, I haven't been sitting around on the lounge chair. I mean, it's all here, so it just makes sense, you know. Yeah. <laughs> don't know. Don't know. Yeah. Wait, wait. Wait in the red pants. Hey? I'm affording the red pants. He's stayed with Wayne Gardner down at Sitches. And he has now a spending of the And he stayed there maybe four days. And we always speak in Spanish. He says, if you stay here one month. Riding for the United Kingdom, Alex Lowe's. Switching from Patahonda. Gear, I think, wouldn't it, Ken, on the exit of uh, of southern uh, exit of uh, turn one there, and uh, gets the bike completely sideways. Unbelievable. So we thought the hit at turn Barlos was just uh, able to get the drive in the early laps, but as we predicted. Uh, Phil, uh, perhaps he had gone too hard, burned up his rear tyre, and we heard Troy Bayless uh, speak that he was uh, through with one lap left to run to make it two from two and extend his lead in the championship. Remember, the man that was second in the championship coming into this round has scored zero in both races. That's Max Biaggi. Troy Bayless now with only four kilometres left to run. He's qualified on pole. He's won the first race. He's done uh, a tribute lap around here in an Alfa Romeo to wave goodbye to the Phillip Island crowd. And boy, is this an emotional race for Troy Bayliss. It's an emotional race for the crowd. It all seems to be going Troy Bayliss' way. The Hondas, Suzuki and Yamahas are catching up quickly. Join me, Julian Thomas, in a month's time for the third round of the Superbike World Championship. Bye for now. Time. And Rutten's outscores another good result for the private Sterilgarden Championship squad.